please let me introduce myself. My name is Short Chef. And many times people ask me, why do they call you Short Chef? And you see, I went to university to learn how to cook. And in the university, I had to wear a uniform. And the uniform was such a bad uniform, it was very long pants and a long jacket and a silly hat. And in the kitchen of the university, it was very hot. So I, being very smart, I think, from New York, I went back to my room and I put on shorts. <laughs> See, because I think if I wear shorts, it, I'll be more comfortable. If I'm more comfortable, I'll be a better student. If I'm a better student, I'll be a better chef. Doesn't that make sense? Yes. That's what I thought. Except when I got back into the kitchen with shorts on, that was the day bullying was invented. Oh, no. You see what happened? I'm going to yell very loud. Okay? This is what I heard. No! 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 The teachers say, nobody wears shorts in the kitchen. I go, well, it's very hot in the kitchen. So if I wear shorts, I'll be more comfortable. If I'm more comfortable, I'll be a better chef. Don't you think so? Yes! They said, no! Nobody wears shorts in the kitchen. I said, well, I'm sorry. I am wearing shorts. They said, if you wear shorts, we're going to call you... Short. Short chef. And that's how I got my name. So parents, not because I'm vertically challenged, <laughs> whenever you see me anywhere in Miami or anywhere else, I will always have shorts on, okay? So let me tell you what I do. Uh, I work for a lady who still lives in Washington. I work for Michelle Obama. Michelle Obama started a program called Let's Move nine years ago. And Let's Move is a program about exercising our children about having schools feed them healthy lunches, and about education. So I do the education. I get to perform with you today, okay? So I'm gonna ask a lot of you to help me cook, okay? All right, so, uh, so good. But first, we do education. First, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna... Okay, so first I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk to your mom and dad, okay? Because they need the education. But you're gonna help me, okay? All right, so how many kids, how many kids like, raise your hand, like McDonald's, Burger King, Pizza Hut, okay, Taco Bell? Yeah, I like Taco Bell. So, Dalton, can you help me for a minute? So, all of these kids, so is Taco Bell and Burger King good for you? No. No, the answer is not. My assistant. So I am going to ask this lady to help me, okay? So you stand right here. So what, I'm going to ask her, okay? What is in fast food that's not good for you? What could it be? Spicy food. Salt. What is it? Sodium. Salt. Sodium, sir. Salt. Oh, no. Bad, sorry, very sorry. sorry. <laughs> very bad for you. It's in so much food. So again, I don't cook with it. I don't use it. I don't have it in my house. Try to remember this, my friends. No. Not so good for us, okay? So we get rid of that. How many of you have ever had this drink before? Anybody has ever had this drink? Raise your hand. No! No! Really? Okay. 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 So I'm going to ask um, one of the moms here. Mom. What ingredient is powder and it's white? What is in here that's not good for you? Caffeine and salt. No, no, what is the powder, the white powder that's sweet? Hold on, hold on, please. What did you say? Sugar. Okay, ma'am, my wife is right there and you're calling me sugar. <laughs> oh, you meant in here, right? Your name? Bruna. Okay, Bruna. So in this bottle, I just want you to know, there is sugar. Do you ever see like, uh, these little packets, tiny little packets of sugar. Ah, you ever see these? Miss Bruder, you ever see these before? Yes. So I want you to give me a number. How many do you go, if in a 16 ounce Coke, how many do you think might be in there? Give me a number, guess. Five. Five, very good guess. Bruder, you're so excellent. 25 packs of sugar. Wow. So every wow. time we drink a Coca-Cola, 16 ounce, 25 packs of sugar goes into our body. I find that excessive. 
I find if you meet Miami Herald two weeks ago, I can't believe it, but it was in it. It said, the average child in Dade County drinks 10 sodas a week between the ages of 5 and 15. Okay, my son, Max Alejandro, we don't have soda in my house. Yet, I find these bottles under his bed all the time because Mima, when I'm not there like today, she's probably buying him some fast food and he gets this, okay? How many of you, this is a question very unique, and we're going to get cooking soon, but probably nobody will raise their hand. Anybody speak Spanish? Raise your hand. I know. Okay. Uh, parents, my friends, uh, I've been in Miami for many years. Uh, I've been involved for 24 years with my darling. She is from Cuba. You would think I know a lot of Spanish, yes? <laughs> Parents, I know 10 words in Spanish, none I can say to these children. <laughs> okay, sorry. Okay, but I want to practice my Spanish today. Would that be okay? So what happened is, George Chef cooks. I cook all the time. I love to cook because I love to eat. You understand? So a couple of days ago, I come out and my car has a flat tire. I don't know how to fix a flat tire. So I get my, where I live in Cayocho, on the corner of Southwest 13th Street, 32nd Avenue, is Old Man Jose's garage. So I get my car there. I say, Old Man Jose, fix my car. No problem, a short chef. At that moment, this little lady from Peru, they're pushing her car in. And she says, here's my Spanish, okay? Are you ready? Oye, Jose, mi carro no trabajo. So I said, I think she said, hey, Jose, my car's not working. It's correct? It's close? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So she look, he looks at the car, and there's a battery in the car. Do you know this battery? I didn't know there's batteries in cars. <laughs> I cook. I don't cook with batteries. And there's all this junk around the battery. So man Jose runs to his desk, and he gets a bottle of? Soda. Soda. Parents may know this. And he pours it on a car battery. Parents know this? Yeah, yeah. And it cleans the car battery. Yeah. He pours it on and the battery gets all smoky. And two yeah, minutes later, fire. yeah, and two minutes later he turns the key and guess what happened? Yeah. It started. <laughs> so, what makes me crazy is we allow children and adults to drink a beverage that cleans car batteries. Imagine! Imagine, now Ms. Buddha, I don't say if you have a Coca-Cola today, something's gonna happen bad. But think about in your lifetime, if you would have a Coca-Cola one week, two weeks, three weeks, it is just the worst thing you can do for a child. Enough with bad stuff. Darling, may I tell them about good stuff? I have to ask a question, okay? I'm gonna ask this young lady, what is your name? Natalia. Natalia? Natalia. Natalia, nice to see you. How are you? What's my name? Why they call me short chef? Why? Yeah. We're short. Come on. All right, Natoya. Very hot question. Are you ready? Okay, watch this, everybody. Okay. Natoya, what do you think is the healthiest fruit in the world, Natoya? Apples. How did she know that? How did she know that? She must be a genius. Yes? Please, my friends, let me tell you about apples. Apples are the healthiest fruit in the world. Apples are good for your eyesight. Apples are good for your teeth. Apples are good for your taste buds on your tongue. Apples are good for your muscles, your heart, your bones. Apples are good for almost every part of your body. Me, Miss Bruda, short chef, I eat five, six, seven apples a day. I stop all my junk food in my life, except for ice cream. Okay. Somebody asked me the other day, a little girl said, short chef, you teach about eating healthy, but what is the problem here? I said, I did not have this problem last year. And I've done a very big investigation. And in September, I am going to find the people responsible for this. I'm going to Burlington, Vermont. I'm going to meet these guys, Ben and Jerry, and I'm going to tell them what they have done to me. So if you still, if you never tasted Ben and Jerry's ice cream, Jerry's Garcia is amazing, chunky monkey. Back to the apple. So I eat apples every day. Somebody recently told me apples are even good for your hair growth. So there's lots of benefits to eating apples, you see? Trisha, huh? it's kind of hard to eat Why you don't take your hat off? What'd she say? Take your hat off. Take your hat off. Okay, what if I take your hat off? <laughs>
Stop, please. Stop, please. Sir. <laughs> Why are you laughing? No, I heard you. Uh, you <laughs> I never said! I never said! Apples make your hair grow. I have very hairy feet. Do you want to see them, ma'am? You want to see my feet? No, no, you say no. All right. Okay. What we're going to do, we are going to make a recipe. But I need everybody's help. Would that be okay? Okay. So what happened is, we're going to give out some ingredients. All right? So what we're going to do is we give these out. And when I ask you, for instance, I am going to give you tomatoes. Don't eat them, don't touch them. When I say, does anybody have tomatoes, you're going to bring them to me. When I say, this is carrots, okay? And you're going to bring me the carrots, it's okay? When I say, no, don't touch them. Okay, carrots, say carrots. Okay. Yeah, very good, okay? Very good, very good. Very good. Okay, we're going to give these out, my dear. You ready? This is black beans. Don't touch the food. This is spinach, new Spanish word for Chef Georgia. Espinaca. Spinach. Okay, sir, no. Uh, now, when I needed you to help me, you weren't helping me. Okay. Tomatoes, carrots. Okay, don't touch the food. But when I call you, you are going to bring them up to me. Is okay? Mom, you're going to help. Uh, we met outside. So this is black beans, and this is tomatoes. Don't touch the tomatoes, okay? When I call and I say, my mom, you can help me, dad, you can help them if you like. Okay, so we are gonna do something very different. So we are going to make a salad today, a very unique salad, okay? So, darling, I think we're going to make a salad in this bowl for everybody here. Don't you think that's too little? It's too small? It's too little. It's too little. What would you use if you reduce the bowl? Yeah, now it's good enough. This is going to be enough for everybody in this bowl? Yes, yes, no. No, 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 for a salad for oh, everybody no. here. Oh no. Okay, I want to thank you for coming to wait. Does anybody have a big bowl? Does somebody? Yes. What is your name? Iggy. Iggy, can, you have brought a big bowl? Can you get it for me? Thank you. Okay. And also, if you're going to help me, mom and dad, everybody has to look like a chef. So we want you to take a moment. We want put aprons on your children, please. Okay? I asked Iggy to give me a big bowl and he brought me a swimming pool. <laughs> so we're going to make a salad in a swimming pool, okay? Is that okay? Alright, so let's start doing this. So the first thing, anybody got any salad lettuce? Hey everybody, lettuce, you have lettuce? I have lettuce. Is that lettuce? Yeah, it's very good. Okay, you're gonna pour the lettuce into... Very good, very good. No, no, you keep that. That's a strawberry. All right, good deal. The pumpkin's right here. Everybody, sir, you have to have a seat, please. Yes. Okay, anybody have espinac, any spinach? Yes. Okay, come on around here. Okay, wait a minute, what is your name? Nico, come here. I'm going to pick you up. Okay, can I pick you up? You're going to go up here. Mr. Nico, and you're going to put the spinach in the soup. Hey, good job. All right, wait to everybody out there. Nico, say hello to everybody. Okay, come on down. All right, we have more spinach. Hey, I know you. Iggy, okay, you can drop it in there. Okay, okay, so there you go. How are you? What's your name? 
Okay? Do circles. Okay, good. I need you to do circles. Okay. Sit down. You have to sit down, please. Everybody sit down. Circle. There we go. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Okay. All right. Now, wait a minute. Watch this. So this is short chef dressing. What are you doing here? <laughs> what are you doing? Do you want to help? Okay, if you want to help, do she has to put gloves on. Okay, so this is a short chef dressing for today. Except in honor of this event, 32 years. Don't put your hand down, sir. Okay? Raise your hand if you wear girls' underwear. <laughs> okay, keep your hand up. So today, we're going to take this dressing and we are going to add strawberries to the dressing. Okay? So we're going to make a strawberry vinaigrette dressing. Okay, hold on for a minute. What was the name? Daniela, I want you to take this home. You're going to put it under your pillow. <laughs> the strawberry fairies are coming. It's going to be something really nice, okay? You believe me? No, okay. Okay, so we're going to make a strawberry vinaigrette, except, wait a minute, I made that yesterday. I think we'll make it a little different. I think we're going to add some blueberries to the strawberries, okay? And, and then what we're going to do is... Now we're going to call this short chef berry berry dressing. Okay, got it? Okay. All right. Now you can, now you can wait. Now you got gloves up. So now we're going to mix this up very well. Okay. And so look what we no no. I just watch. No, I want you to see. Everybody can see. I'm taking the strawberries, right? I'm taking the blueberries, right? And I'm mixing it up with the honey, the oil, and the balsamic vinegar. So this is short term, very, very dressing. Can everybody say very, very dressing? Very good. I hope it's very, very good, okay? So I'm going to put this on the salad. Forks in a bowl, forks in a bowl. Okay, all right, so what I'm going to do, I'm changing my clothes. Parents, I teach cooking classes to about, this summer, I'll teach about 6,000 children, okay, before the summer is over. We don't touch raw food, we all wear gloves. We all wear vinyl gloves. In my kitchen, every kitchen, have your kid come into the kitchen with you. But again, to touch chicken, they, they don't necessarily like it. I cook, I don't like touching raw foods. And I don't like washing my hands 15 times when I cook. So I wear vinyl gloves and then I change them. Okay? So today, I'm taking this dressing. Are you ready? Watch this. And this is going all over the salad. Yes? All right. So watch what I do. I wear the gloves. So I am going to mix up the lettuce. The espinaca, the broccoli, the carrots, the blueberries, the strawberries, the beans. And I'm going to make one giant short chef Floridian salad. How does it look, everybody? Now, what I ask is a favor. What I want to ask is a favor. People out there, somebody here, don't eat salad. Just try it, okay? Pick out the strawberry. Pick out the blue. No, don't touch it. Please don't touch it. Okay, I'm going to give you some, okay? All right, everybody can see the salad? Yeah! Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to take some and I'm going to put it in each one. All right, moms and dads can come up here and we're going to try it. All right? Yes. Everybody try the salad. We have lots of salad. Moms and dads. Okay. Please try the salad. Make sure they all have a floor. Good deal. Everybody grab a salad. Here I come. Here I come.
How's the salad, everybody? We got kids eating salad? We got parents eating salad? How is it, sir? Super? Please, if you want more, we have lots of salad here. Nobody goes home until we finish the salad. So I hope you brought your pajamas. To get with short chef, can we do that? Oh, okay, come on. My name is Mario Ernesto Sanchez and I'm the director of the festival. And we usually, for a long time, we've been doing an extension here in, uh, of the festival in Key Biscayne at the community center, sponsored, of course, by the Key Biscayne Community Foundation and the village of Key Biscayne. And uh, we enjoyed it uh, very much. The children enjoyed it. We are also adding, uh, in, uh, in addition to the play, we're adding Short Chef, Fighting Obesity One Child at a Time. <laughs> I got that right. And uh, the children prepare the salad and then they eat it. Parents come to me and they say, my God, my, my children don't eat salad. And here they ate it. It's, it's amazing. So I guess hopefully from now on they'll eat salad. Everybody's here? Yes. Okay, everybody say short chef. Short chef. Okay, everybody say let's. Let's. Make. Great again. Great again. <laughs> I made that up, okay? Came from Short Chef. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being here. Thank you. Nice to meet you all. Follow Short Chef on Facebook.